No matter what fruit crop you grow in Montana, there will be some pests that you have to manage for. But one of the nice things about Montana is that we actually have relatively few pests. Specifically for apple, our major pests are coddling moth and a pathogen called fire blight. In addition, we have secondary pests like wildlife, including deer and bear that you can manage with proper fencing and voles, gophers, um, which are rodents that are best managed with keeping your weeds under control, things mowed. The most important thing though is, is that you're actively managing for these pests in a variety of ways. Last year we had an especially bad year with fire blight in Montana due to the weather conditions in the spring. So it's not always a, a terrible problem in Montana. It's partly due to the weather that occurs during blossom time for apples. That dictates whether or not there's a bad fire blight season. So when the weather is particularly humid and warm, between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, that makes for really bad fire blight conditions. Fire blight is a bacterial pathogen and it often enters through a blossom um, when, the, when the trees are blooming and then it makes its way into the twigs. And so what it looks like is a little, um, like a brown crook at the end of the branch where the leaves and um, blossoms are. There are both organic and conventional con control strategies for fire blight. One of the best strategies, of course, is to prevent it from becoming an issue in your orchard in the first place. That you can partly manage just by keeping your orchard well managed and clean, keeping the trees well pruned. You can spray copper products pre-season, and those are both certified for organic and also can be used for, for conventional orchards and that you would do pre-bloom when the trees are um, at what they call the green tip stage. There's no blossoms yet. The best strategy is to have a combination of cultivar resistance along with a really good management strategy because once you have it in your orchard, it's really hard to get rid of it. Wildlife mitigation can be a real issue here in Montana because we're in bear territory. They've got to feed in the fall and get all their calories up and that's right when the apples are ripe. So as soon as someone's thinking of an orchard, I make a recommendation to get that electric fence up so that the bears aren't habituated. One of the main pests in apples in Montana is coddling moth. And if you control coddling moth, uh, you'll basically deal with all of the other minor insect pests that we get in this state. Coddling moth uh, is a moth, like the name suggests, that emerges in the spring, lays its eggs usually just after apples are blooming, uh, and then those eggs hatch, they feed on the tree, and it's the worm that you find in your apples. In Montana, we can get two to three generations of coddling moth per year, um, and control really relies on knowing when those eggs are hatching, so you can spray, either organic or synthetic insecticides to control those larvae when they're hatching because that's the small window when they're on the tree but not already in the apple. If you're spraying when, there are, when you already see damage, most of the larvae are already in the apple or have dropped to the soil and you're not gonna do, you're not gonna control them. So again, control relies on the proper timing of those sprays to target the larvae when they're actively feeding on the tree. That's what the um, red trap behind me is for. It's for actually finding when the moths emerge and then we start calculating uh, degree days, which is essentially temperatures, to monitor for the um, hatching of the eggs that are laid for the first generation of moth. And that usually happens in um, late spring, early summer in most locations around Montana. Uh, we never spray for anything during bloom um, that is insect related and um, that's because it doesn't do any good but it's also to protect our important pollinators. I always want to add for growers that a good resource is the Intermountain, Intermountain Fruit Guide and I think it's a really good guide. It has very practical information about the control strategies for diseases, um, what products are available. Another useful resource I have found is the uh, Montana Department of Agriculture website has a list of which chemicals are registered in Montana, which is an important thing to be aware of because some of the products that are used in other places and might, might be recommended for controlling disease aren't available in Montana because they aren't registered. 